Hello everyone, welcome back to A Taste of Angel Lifestyle. If this is your first time tuning in to Angel uh, Lifestyle, I'm Angela. And I just want to thank you so much for all the support out there. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of my circle, my family. So today I want to leave with you with a word of comfort. And, um, and I'm going to come from the book of Isaiah. And um, it's going to be Isaiah, I believe, 41, 41 and 10. Yes, 41 and 10. And it says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes. Yes, I will help you. I will I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Isaiah the 41 chapter verse 10. And this is the word of God. You know a lot of times that um our mind plays tricks with us not only just our mind different things that's going on in the world and circumstance you know sickness death uh different things that's going on in the atmosphere you know storms and whatever you, you name it home you know we had a problem in our home our kids and just so much anger and bitter and hate that's in the world today but the lord said that uh he will uphold you with his right, righteous right hand. So that's something to uh, to know. He he said like even he said even in your distress, he said call my name, call upon me. He said and out of your cry, I will hear your voice. And he said he said uh, I will. Put your enemies to shame. You know, you know, you don't have to do revenge by the people that treat you wrong, speak against you. Pray, wish them the best. Turn them over to the Lord. He's the judge. He's the judge of this earth, this planet, the heaven realms. He's the judge. Turn them over to God. Turn them over to. Him. Because, you know, he is our shepherd. He's our protector. You know, he knows our name. He knows each individual. He knew us when we was in our mother's womb. And that's awesome. Totally awesome. Totally awesome. But you know what? He gives us, when he created us, he gave us something special about us. He gave us authority to be over a lot of things. And he gave us the power through his word that we could speak against things that's come against us. He said life and death lies in the power of the tongue. You can speak life over your circumstance or you can speak death. Uh, tragic, different things, you know, problems. Stop speaking bad things over yourself. Speak good things. If someone said that you're not handsome, you're not pretty, said, I am beautiful. Jesus loved me. When he made me, he made me wonderful, good. Only thing that we have to do as believers, we just have to get out of the together, spend time to have a relationship with him so we can get to know him through the word of God so that we can walk in the pathway of righteousness so that he can line us up and do the things that we ask to heal our children. You know, help us with our finance. Help us on the job against our boss, employee, whatever that's going on in the world. He said when, the, he said when we pray and fast, he said he'll heal the land. And he asks a little smaller things he asks of us. You know, and he wants us to be clean inside of us. Clean. That's why he said, 
you know, in, in, in uh, Psalm 91, David said, wash me and purge me and cleanse me of my iniquities from all my sin. The things that I think and say out of my mouth, that is not clean. Lord, wash it, purge and cleanse me. Help me. Because sometimes we can't do it on our own. We need him. That's why he said that, you know, he'll be out of script. He will be out of script. And he will help us. And that's what we need. We need his script. We cannot do this thing by ourselves. You know, a lot of times we try, but we need the Lord. I don't care what you do. I don't care how much money you make. I don't care how much power you have in the world. But with everything said and done, he said every knee will bow down and confess that he is the Lord of the Lord. So this is why I said we need him. So in the meantime, that uh, when God is blessing you, give by God here. Give by it. Don't be so selfish and because you're making good money now. You know, there's nothing wrong by doing the things you want to do, buy your home, car, and stuff. But give by it. Give by it. You have made a way. You said that God helped you through it. You said that God the one blessing you. So if God blessing you, bless somebody else. Bless somebody else. Help somebody else. Stop doing the talking and trying to influence people that you got it going on. Do the right thing and help someone. Speak nice about somebody. Send them a card. Send them a letter. You know, give, give back what God has given to you. And he will bless you a hundredfold again and again and again. He's an awesome God. He is a totally awesome God. You know, he's the God that created heaven and earth from the, be from the beginning to the end. To the beginning and to the end. Yes, he will, you know, he will deliver you from liars. These people go around and lie on you. You know, bear false winds against you, against you. Go and tell them about them. Call their name out to him. Call, tell him. Tell him about him. He already know, but he want to hear you come to him and tell him. And he will work it out. The Bible said, no weapon formed against me shall not and will not prosper. You have the weapon with the word of God. Take it to your heavenly father and he will take care of you. But give him time. Give him time of your, your life. Give him some time. And give him the praise and the worship. Because he loves you. He loves you. He said that he will strengthen you. He will help you. And you don't have to worry about nobody going back and talking about it neither. Because what God do for you, he do it for you. And you don't have to worry about nobody coming back and taking it away from you. Give him a try. Give him a try. Let him show you about the strength he's talking about. Let him show you about the help he'll give you. So, I just want to let you know that there's a God. Almighty God, the Son Jesus, and the Father that will take good care of you. Take time and give thanks. He woke you up this morning, starting your way. Beautiful day, beautiful day, beautiful day. Give him thanks for him and ask him to help me to get to know you. And don't let things get in your mind they call you that you want to get on the other side of the track and say, and say there's no God. There's one. And what people do, they do it. God didn't do it. People don't live right. Or people go out there and see all kind of bad things uh, about other people. That's not a God. Them people get to know Jesus Christ. And he will clear Everything up, he'll give you clarification. So, 
He's your strength and he's your help. So take it, a word of comfort, and I just want to thank you so much. And then if you're on this channel again, give me a like, give me a thumb up, give me a like. Also, I want to give, uh, say, uh, subscribe to my channel. And tell your friends about Angela, a taste of Angela lifestyle. And I want to thank you so much. And I want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for your son, Jesus. And I thank you for a beautiful day. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye-bye.